Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where we're starting in the same dreary place where we ended last one. Raining, late at night, zero hundred hours, so we're at midnight right now. These guys were up late, Thomas Slob was helping Farmer, Klaus was had delivered her, was working on some last minute things, he's starving, he's got to get a meal, so let's let them do their thing. Farmer is bandaged up, healing. Not in very good shape. Well, hopefully a good night's sleep will will get her uh, a little closer to to healing up and and feeling a little better. She's not an enemy. She just crash landed over here. She's had a really bad day. Let's put it that way. Klaus is getting a meal, and that should send his mood, which was crashing, into much better territory. Now it's forecasted to be over here. Hold on. Where are you going? You're butchering. It's bedtime. Can I tell you to go to bed? I don't think I can. Uh, Klaus, I can't. But did I do that right? Try that again. You're there. Right click. Doesn't do any good. Okay. Um. Hmm. Not much I can do to stop you that I can think of. Just gonna have to let you, but you're not gonna get much sleep tonight. Okay, um, everybody else is coming in. Tomislav's going to wake everyone up. There we go. Actually, I only saw two out of three pop in there. That's interesting. I was just thinking I could put those end tables in here and make these beds work a little bit better, but I keep holding off for, you know, getting down into here. We didn't get to see this last time. He's butchering. It's kind of hard to see it right now anyway. I need to get a light in here. He's butchering the, squir the squirrel. He's going to make a pile of meat like the one that got taken way up to storage over there and he's going to drop the squirrel uh, skin over there so we got seven squirrel skin out of that speaking of him taking the meat all the way back to here right there we need to get our freezer kind of situated so that's something to do tonight while we're waiting out the night though I wish I could light this up a little bit better um, let's for starters, orders mine out a nice little rectangle in here. Uh, something like that. And we'll take you up into there. Yeah, we'll do that. In fact, we can even take this out a little bit further like that. That should work out fine. So we'll mine that out. Gives us our, our little uh, uh, airlock in here. Uh, we need to set a zone. That's something we didn't do last time. Stockpile zone. We'll form it into this space for now. Klaus is making kibble with our meat. <laughs> okay, I've disrupted his sleep cycle, and he thinks it's already tomorrow, and the meat that was going to go into uh, into the, our first meals. Hmm, let's finish this job first, and we'll let's clear all that, put in basically foods. Foods in general, right there. So, kim kibble, I don't remember if it needs to be refrigerated, but if it's in this column, it seems like it would. I'll have to check that out. Farmer is no longer incapacitated. Uh, incapable of walking, but she's still probably unconscious. Uh, consciousness is very poor, pain severe. Yeah, so she's still bedridden for a while. Anyway, uh, this one is going to be higher priority. We'll say preferred for now. And all the foodstuffs, that's meats, um, vegetables, meals, all of that. And let's make this the final stopping ground for all the animal corpses, which means this no longer is. Right there. No, oh, I see all the corpses went here all, all together as far as enemies and whatnot. That's probably okay. This one is a no. This one is a no. And that's it for stockpiles right now. Now there was a that was the dumping one. Okay, yeah, right there. Anyway, he has decided he's gonna mix up some some rice and meat and make fifty kibble for us. And now he is going to bed. As they're getting up, he probably you know just give them a great big loud hey guys. Just as they're uh, you know still sound asleep over here. We'll see how that that lands. Wake everybody up. Anyway. Since he used up the meat, let's think about doing some hunting. I think that'd be a good thing to put in. But also, I kind of want to see what happens here. Hoping they're all going to wake up just as he gets there. And we're not going to add 
another negative two to every one of them. But um, I want to get cloth pro clothing production going immediately so the farmer doesn't have to walk around here all embarrassed. He didn't interrupt them. Nice. Okay. Before the day gets started, I'm going to hit pause and let's figure out what to do as far as clothing. Can we do it? Since Alpha 13, they have dumped an awful lot of stuff into research that used to be basic. It used to be stuff that, that uh, you already knew how to do. So I really don't know if I can make clothing. Um, let's get the workbench going at least. Production. That would be electric tailor bench or hand tailor bench. Workbench for tailoring by hand works at 50% of the speed of an electric one. Probably no reason not to go electric. We'll put a roof over this. These things will short out in the rain, so be aware of that. Um, zone, build a roof out to this point now. We'll put our production buildings out here for now. Since we're dropping all of the... Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect the dots here. Since we're dropping our squirrel skins and whatnot right out here... Let's go one more like that, too. Let's keep that undercover. And that's what they're going to use to do their, their uh, make clothing with anyway when there isn't enough of the cotton going right there. We've got a ways for the cotton's going to be ready. Rice has already started to, uh, to harvest. 81% grown. Interesting. 41. 83. So why did these pop so early? Must have been one area here in this field that had no rocks or trees, and so he went ahead and planted these first, then he went around chopping the rest of the trees down. That must be what happened there. Okay, so this one is going. I want it to be going here pretty soon. We have three bedrooms going. Um, need to get power in here. This was wood, so we don't need to get power out here just yet. So let's plan for power to this one. Uh, we'll do something like that for now kind of get power available in, in general for whatever else lands in this area. Oh, we need to get across to here. That's right. And while we can hide power in the wooden walls, we cannot hide it in solid stone. So best I can do here is probably jump across like that. And it'd be nice to get a light in there too. Let's set that one in. Furniture. Let's take a standing lamp over here. And we'll eventually trigger that to be powered out of the wall over here. Lamp, lamp, lamp. Did we get the rest of the lamps in? I kind of don't think we did. Put you there, you there. Don't see them hiding in there. Okay, so lamp's there. Battery is in place. Need to get this stuff moved out of here. Need to get the conduit in. Need to get at least... Well, we do have one power source right now. But we're not connected to the battery, so we're not storing anything. So I would say... This right here would be a place for Handy to get her start this morning. Which is going to be when. Um, tell you what else we can be doing while we're waiting for them. Let's... Well, I kind of want to be there when they wake up, but... Do we have any predators? We talked about that last time and didn't do anything with it. And we talked about policies, too. We need to take a peek at that. You are an Ibex. What else do we have in here besides turkey? Looking for big carnivores. Turkey and a rabbit. Lots of raccoons. Let's go down a little bit here. Right there's a emu. No, that's a yeah, emu. Okay. Raccoon. It's looking pretty calm besides the bugs. There's another ibex, right? Yep, ram. Okay, another turkey. Now we've got a pretty calm uh, start here, and there's nothing further down. No, okay. Well, we'll go with that. You guys are already out here. You're thinking about it. Handy's grabbing breakfast. <clears throat> um, curious. Pause that. Needs. Do we have anything about being in the dark? We're under a roof, not lit up, but we're near the outside. We're not walled. So, had to rebuff Shantigo, and that gives her a negative also. She doesn't like having to do that. Interesting. He got the negative five, I think, and she got a negative three out of it. Disturbed sleep a couple times. 
uh, expires in 5 hours. This one expires in 5.6 hours. So they're not permanent. They do have timers they run out. Ugly environment, hungry. That'll be settled. And then an awful barracks, which will be... So they get that for a full day after they leave their barracks. Interesting. You, you do pay for having a ugly sleeping quarters. Mm hmm. Okay, you are taking package survival meal. So you're wanting to load one up onto yourself right there and now you're building a roof but actually I would like for you to set this yeah no come on up build a roof if I tell you to put the conduit in now you're gonna grab steel from over here when all of this steel needs to eventually get back to there there's no point in, in uh, setting ourselves back but yeah if we can get this roof in right here this piece of squirrel uh, skin is already degrading even though it's one of the most recent ones we put in. So yeah, that's that's fine there now. Go ahead and do the last of this. And now, can I get you to put in this conduit? I'll put you right in the middle. Maybe you'll grab enough and work in a, in a radius there and get enough to do all the conduit once. Although we won't connect to that guy, I don't think, with him there. We'll see how that works. This hasn't been constructed yet, this part of it. I don't know what the sphere of influence is here. I could try looking at power. Yeah, the only blue, blue lines are right there. we got to get into this. So if we're going to get power to that battery, which is important. All right, these are some important connections here. That's a battery going in. Okay. Now, okay, we'll get that battery done. Then I'm going to have you go up and do the, the uh, solar panel. Okay, you are conduit. We'll just follow handy for a little bit here. Yeah, she's got such great building skills. She just blasts right through it. All right, now you want to build a cooler. Can I get you to do this? We need to get more supplies for it. I don't know if we even have the components down here yet. We don't. So yeah. she's going to grab 75 steel. We need um, five more. No, you're going to do the rest of the place, too. Not satisfied and just dropping it into there. You want to lay out all of the concrete and... Heading for components. Okay, great. You got that under control. Now, farmer. Oh, look at that. Got here just in time. Rabbit. Why? Rabbit has doctor set up as his first number two. There's no growing going on, so he's going to look to his first number two. One of the duties of the doctor is to make sure that his patients have food and taken care of. After that's done, then it's the duty of the warden when she's no longer officially in bed uh, recuperating then it's the job of the warden to make sure she's got food so rabbit is going to feed her a meal and take care of her cool feeding her a pile of grass or something <laughs> anyway with that going on Shantigo is cooking a fine meal he's going to get all that meat all right, so let's make sure that there is no longer any food stored in here. All foods go off except anything? Don't think so. That didn't work. All right, there. Okay. If there's any food that doesn't need to be refrigerated, let me know. Otherwise, I'm thinking generically everything would just land in here anyway. That's fine. All right, so did Handy is heading back over there. Shantigo went to grab that. If I had thought of it, I would have just told him to grab the rest of it and haul it over there. In fact, we can ask Rabbit to do that right now. So let's, although you are hauling, you're hauling stuff to the stockpile. All right, we'll do that. You'll take care of it. So Shantigo now is cooking a fine meal because he needs some rice. So all that's got to eventually get hauled into here. Then he just has this short trip to make each time. Um, Handy's working on that one which will make our connection here, and then she'll continue doing the rest of that. Tomislav is working on more construction. Who has mining is a little bit higher? Anybody? Um, work, mining. It's like the third two over here, the second two over here. So Shantigo, when he's done, no, mining is his first. Okay. So when he gets done cooking, and that'll happen soon because we're out of basically... Well, I was going to say we're out of meat, but we do have simple meals in that roster as well. So he'll just divert down to these guys and go until we run out of rice also. 
So when all that's done, he'll dive into doing the mining out over here. And then eventually he'll get to his cleaning command. He'll clean this all up and he'll be ready to go. Okay, so do that. Let's get some hunting going. Um, something nearby. Turkey. Boom. Let's see who gets the command to do that one. What else? Pigs could revolt on you. Could, could, you know, not rampage. I forget the word that they use in the game, but uh, after a while, they can randomly get kind of fed up with being shot at. Turn right around and charge you. So, do have to watch out for that, but the meat's good. The, the fur, the hides are good. Rabbit is hauling these back, which is going to make it harder for making clothes. Okay. Temporarily, let's set up another zone. Stockpile and something like that. Let's throw a, let's see, structure. I'm going to put a post right there. And I'm going to put a roof out here. Not restrict. Um, what do I want here? Zones, roof, out to that. You know, we could go ahead and fill this in. Okay. There's our support post out there. Not needed, but it feels better to me. Um, nothing will be sitting out in the rain. It will make it dark in here, though. Let's do set out a light. Where to? I kind of want it in the center here. You know, I'm just going to put it right out there. Furniture, standing lamp, right there. It is. It's not in the way of making this corner from all these points. It, it's not going to obstruct anything. It's going to put a nice radius of light in this area once it's underneath this roof. That'll be fine. Well, this would be a, a breezeway for uh, for our production until we get into the into the mountain. Tomislav is working on that. Great. You are now building a roof because Handy is busy right now. Throwing in our second solar panel. Look at her go. And that is putting a charge into our batteries. That's going to continue to charge until we get into all this. But I'm not hearing any shooting. So Klaus is sound asleep. Rabbit. Work schedule. When will you get to hunting? Rabbit. After you are a doctor, which you're not really doing anything with that right now. Otherwise, you are what? Rabbit is hauling me to stockpile. So what happened to hunting? So hunt is a three for you. Let's take you back to a two. Otherwise, you were clear down over here doing this. Hunting doesn't happen very often, so it's okay to kick that up for him a little bit. Let's let him drop this off into here, and then we'll... Uh, Get up there and get him doing some hunting. And eventually Klaus will jump into that too. Um, Klaus, how are you doing here? Needs. He's about there. I could wake him up. He's ready to eat again. Did we miss something? Or did he just not get a very good meal? <clears throat> now, I think the better quality meals last longer as well. So there's that to think about. These meals here may not have much of a uh, of a time span. Does it tell me? Keep you well fed until deterioration, hit points, market value, nutrition point nine. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Point this will last you for point nine of a day? I'm not sure what that means. Okay. But I could say Get up. Now what did that do? Disturb sleep three times. Don't know if one of those was us or, uh, us or not. I was going to look at that before. No, it didn't work. Okay. If you're going to grab a meal, then maybe you will go hunting. Let's... You know... You know, it is raining. Let's take out a boom rat. Rabbit, where are you? Right there. You are... Relaxing socially. <laughs> How's your mood doing? Do you need it? You kind of need it. Okay. Not going to disturb that. Klaus is going to miss his relaxing socially, isn't he? Yeah, but his food should kick him up there pretty good. Okay. So if the rain continues, then it'll go boom. 
and it'll light things. Well, things will smolder in the rain, then it'll stop. Had it not been raining, all this would have lit on fire. But this, you don't want these guys to die kind of right in the middle of your stuff. Everything goes, you know, everything lights on fire on you. Tomislav is trying it again. He is. <laughs> um, socially, rejected again. A raid. Okay. A raid. Let's see, what do we have here? Group of in group of pirates from the Saws have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Alright, jump to location. <clears throat> oh, they're on our side of the map. And they meaning meaning Amelia, who is a surgeon. She is a female drifter of the Saws. She has a bite scar on her neck, which has weakened her in many ways. Um, wearing worn out apparel, doesn't like that, negative three, and otherwise is still mostly naked. Here, you've got some worn out pants on and that's it. Well, I tell you, people that live on this planet, they've pretty much let everything go, haven't they? Needs, character, decent numbers, except for abrasive. Always says exactly what's on her mind, especially if it's bugging her. That tends to rub people in the wrong way. Hmm. Okay. Well, interesting. That so far everyone's been female, and and uh, females are the ones I have the least on my list of to add subs into the game. <laughs> anyway, she's gonna prepare for a while. Is there a chance that we can subdue her without killing her? And that's never easy to do. She has got a pistol. Is that what I saw? Uh, gear. Now you've got a pistol. So the pistol has not been taken out of the game. The revolver has just been added in. Okay. Auto pistol, though. Auto meaning automatic? I'm not seeing the sense of, you know, three bursts or anything like that. Um... So range cooldown one second. Where'd the warm up go? Right there, 0 0.3 seconds. So she fires very quickly. And I don't get the sense of how many times she can shoot being auto. Only a range of 22 and damage of nine. Unless it's a headshot. It won't, otherwise it's just gonna put holes in us. Um, I'm thinking Klaus's first job. <clears throat> is to go over there and say hello. Oh! Did he eat? He did, but our table's now over here and our food's over here. That's going to start to be a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's take care of that before I forget all about it. Let's give me another one by two table. Do we move these? <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Anyway, you are shoddy and you're normal. Yeah, let's just build a new one. Right there, one by two. I like that one by two size. Put you there and put you there. And let's put in four chairs. Right there, 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 uh, and there. And that's something I forgot about. If you put a chair where they sit and do a whole bunch of their work, they will get a comfort bonus while they're sitting there doing their work. So it's good to have a chair at all production tables. Kind of forgot about that. Um, otherwise, all right, we'll just let all that build. I do want to put a roof over this part, though. Architect, no, um, zone, roof. So we'll just add that little bit right there. So we're kind of filling in the breezeway here. Otherwise, Klaus, you are attempting to recruit. Nope, I need, to, uh, I need use of your sniper skill. Can you draft and come on out over to here? Rabbit probably could use your help too on this one. Um, <clears throat> I guess we're both going this way, unfortunately. I'd like to have come around from the top and you know jump from this position and tried it, but we haven't cleared this out yet, which we do need to do soon. That one should be cleared out so we've got that option whenever we need it. Rabbit, why don't you come out over here and join Klaus probably at this point. Uh, you don't have as much range. Put you in front. 
and then the other ones will be here as backup in case uh, somehow what was her name? Amelia gets past us and uh, has to be taken down by one of the others otherwise the rest of you guys after you're done socializing you can just jump back in and get to work we're charging our battery now which is which was what I was really concerned about um, 1600 1600 when was that social time strict 1400 and 15 for Shantigo who no longer needs that right I think not unless what was that that was rabbit I just changed his orders you come back over to here okay click away from rabbit there we go otherwise I want handy specifically working on conduit right in here and let's get this place connected up okay so over here Klaus is gonna get in position gotta be careful that he's going to preemptively strike when I'm not ready for I would love to wing her where'd she go over there so we gotta see if that's even possible he has far better range than both of them do I believe um, rabbit gear assault rifle no don't do that did I really tell you to put it down can I cancel that what is that drop okay let's pick it back up again equip okay what I wanted to do was now can I do it there there what is your range <clears throat> 31 and the sniper 45 okay so we definitely outrange her but she's roaming around and it's gonna be just shooting willy-nilly we've got to have cover the only cover I see is right here trees will act as cover um trying to remember how else uh, so we got cover here the stones will give you some cover a wall will give you cover um, darkness will give you cover rain will give you cover both of you guys come on over to here now before we do one thing I can do Klaus and click on the rifle there it is this gives you the range right here I, unfortunately I cannot click on her and do that with her weapon here I can't click on it and find out where 22 is they may already be in range they're go she's gonna shoot quickly in fact you guys pause here for a moment where is she going is she she's already been alerted to us you know what <clears throat> dare we draw her in you guys head over ham what are you doing unrestricted why are you following us um social you aren't attached was trained by rabbit nuzzle tomislav there should be no reason for you to be following us over here but you are roaming or are you actually after us you went for cover oh the ai is getting smarter okay i don't want ham over there okay let's work on something that we talked about i think the very first episode um restrict for animals let's manage areas let's grab a new area we'll call that new area um okay animal area one no area one area two what, what just popped in don't know but well, let's work with animal area one um, none of these will let me actually create the area let's go over to zones and expand area and animal area one all right let's send the dogs for now into here we'll extend that like so and let's also set up a little stockpile at this point right here just noticing that these vents don't look like they're going in the right direction see this direction right here shoots through this is going across huh I'll have to, I'll have to take a look at that this area right here let's set that up for kibble 
before I forget about it. So storage, you are clear all. You are preferred and you are kibble right there. So the kibble is going to be delivered to here where the animals will be restricted to occasionally. So if we forget to leave and leave them in there, they'll still have some food available to them. So let's at this point set up both animals, tell them to go here. Hopefully that turns Ham around in his tracks. It may not, in which case he may be shot at. So guys, come on back over here. In fact, let's just go right to here. Good, Ham turned around. Now he's still thinking about it. He, he wants to play. All right, if you guys get over here, Klaus should be in range. He's automatically getting ready to shoot. Rabbit, why don't you head to here? And I think Klaus can stay there. He won't shoot Rabbit in the back at this close. If Rabbit was right here and Amelia was, was right there, there's a chance he could shoot Rabbit instead. But I've never seen them shoot each other when they're standing near each other. I may be wrong, but now Rabbit's in range. Klaus's range or uh, you know, bar has just ended, right? He didn't actually shoot. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see this. There it goes. So he's got the first shot going in. Missed. She's coming in for her shot. Ham is just going to play and got her. Now, what happened to her? All right, neck, that was already there, but a gunshot to the neck and a gunshot to the right shoulder. And the neck one is is much more serious. Got a bigger flame, red flame there. Um, another thing we can do at this point, right there, combat. Klaus fired deliberately at Amelia with his sniper rifle. Amelia threw herself to the ground, Klaus's sniper Rifle bullet missing. Rabbit shot his assault rifle at Amelia. Rabbit hit Amelia with a shot. Rabbit missed Amelia, and Rabbit, Rabbit's assault rifle bullet hit Amelia. So we now have a blow-by-blow blow of all of the combat here in this game. And she is going for cover, and she's getting ready to shoot at Rabbit. Oh. All right. He gets three rounds every time he shoots. We're going to get three messages. Missed, missed. Shot at. Oh, Amelia shot a rabbit with her auto pistol. Rabbit's assault rifle bullet hit Amelia. Health. She has now been hit by the, in, in the left arm as well. She's got 14 hours left at her current bleed rate. And back to combat. What's happening next? His cooldown or warm up or whatever has gone, so he's ready to shoot again too. Oh, that was close. Wow. Missed rabbit. Okay. Boom. But she. It's going to be able to shoot quite rapidly between them. She's already shooting again. That's on its way. He's out of range. So that's just going to land over here. But that one worries me. Missed. Oh, you can hear that. It hit metal. Nice. So can I? how far can I zoom in and still see all of this? Can I try to remember if, if I can grab? I can. You can click with your middle mouse button or wheel. Okay this run a little bit three more shots into there one coming out over here a little worried for rabbit there hmm do we get him out of there doesn't have any kind of armor on he's definitely doing some damage over there rabbit hit amelia with assault rifle amelia shot her auto pistol um hit the granite chunk and Bullet narrowly missed Amelia and hit the the granite chunk. Let's see. Hit the metal. Hit her again. Headshot. Oh, man. I wanted to wound her, not kill her. Come on, guys. How bad is it? Neck. Jaw. Hmm. May have to make her some dentures. We'll see how that goes. Uh, bleeding hard. Come on, someone just knock her out so we can go capture her. Oh, hit him. Hit her again. And that's twice in the right shoulder. Hit her again. <laughs> Let's go back to combat here. Okay, it didn't kill her. 
fainted due to gunshot wound. Okay. I just wish we could have done that so much sooner. There's so much we're going to have to do to repair her. Dropped her weapon. And she is unconscious. Health. Okay. We didn't take out her spine. Now, I think it was something I started to say last time and I never got a chance to finish my sentence. If they have a shattered spine, if they have brain damage, then there's not much you can do with them. Short of of uh, getting mods for the game that do things that the vanilla version doesn't. A shattered spine is not repairable and she will be bedridden for the rest of the game. We had that happen to us last series. And a head wound that damages the brain will leave them incapable of doing almost anything. So those cases don't make great uh, um, colonists, let's put it that way. We are shoulders and arms and legs and we're going to bleed out in seven hours and we've got to get her rescued. And let's... How are we going to do that? We're going to not never get our own rooms going, are we? You need to now be a medical prisoner bed. And I think we we'll go ahead and just grab this bed here and reinstall you in here as a backup right there. And this one over here, shoddy and poor and shoddy. I think the poor we've already... Is there a line? Yeah. So that's the only other one we get for a choice right now, right? Nope, these haven't been moved? Oh, guys. Uh, good, poor, and poor. Let's grab the good. And install you into... Lost you. There you are. Into this room. And these will be set up as prisoner beds, but not medical. So that when she gets to where she doesn't have to stay in here, she'll start using this bed and it just works better but over here you guys are automatically nope you're still drafted okay you guys undraft and best run speed is whom got a 4.58 klaus is 4.58 all right rabbit let's have you rescue capture amelia and see if we can't save her ham you are wandering health. You took a gunshot to the right rear leg. Um, there's not much that I can do here. Klaus cannot. Oh, I can't. You're set up to handle. Prioritize training. No, that won't work. Okay. So Ham is just going to have to make his way back, though. I still wonder why he didn't head over here. Sienna did. But uh, Ham did not. Um, assign animals, take you back to unrestricted. I need him to get back to here so that somebody can do some medical, medical treatment on him. But they won't do it until he gets to a, uh, a sleeping place. Okay, so Rabbit, you are doing that. Klaus, you are relaxing socially. Because you didn't get your chance to. Okay. And actually, no. Right there, unforbid. Klaus, bring this in. That's all she had to drop, right? Yeah. Why don't you uh, hold this one? And then he'll go back to relaxing socially because his his joy must be tanking right now. Yeah, right there. Beauty is too, but he's still doing decent. Okay, we still need to do some hunting. So they're still marked for hunt. Oh, they are still marked for hunt. You do not hunt now because it is no longer raining. Okay, so we have where are you going um no klaus hmm i can't make you walk a certain way can you can i without the uh dropping the gun interesting so i have to abandon the gun because i can't tell you to go here okay, i can right click all i want it won't work I can only do that if he is drafted, and drafted he drops the gun. So I guess we lose the gun. Um, Alright, let's do it this way. As long as it is under a roof, it's fine. You go here, can you haul this, take it to there, stop, draft, head over here, and then head over here. And can I do something like 
shift click and send you to here no he just continues the path okay so at this point if i were to undraft you you will automatically go this way okay yeah we need to clear these out maybe that's next episode's goal and i've got to worry now that a turkey's going to wander in here when he goes in hunting for it so we're going to not hunt that turkey now so I mean, if you double click you'll get all the turkeys that are in your your current window there's two of them here we'll hunt those let's grab all of the raccoons hunt those and there were deer up in here is that what i saw at one point they will roam in and off the map i thought i saw deer up there at the beginning they're not there now so herds will come and go from this map tile to the next one and back this guy's huntable too get quite a bit of meat out of him he doesn't really attack much he's only two months old oh two years old okay all right so what are we doing we have some power in here now good and pause amelia health not been attended to yet tomislav is on his way and he's doing it with herbal medicine because they come by default right there i had set farmer to this if i want him to use that i'll have to cancel so that he'll go back and get some more i think i had better poor bandaging or you know poor quality of medicine or both of them combined increase the chance for an infection in which case we're going to use a lot of medicine in order to treat the infection so let's do that let's tomislav draft undraft I need you to tend to Amelia with the good stuff, which changes you back to going over here and get it. He's going to need to get a lot of it. Each one will do, oh, a couple of the, let's see, where am I? Health. Amelia health. So I may be able to do, you know, a couple of these with each of the medicines, but still there's four or five medicines in there for four or five first aid kits let me put it that way worth of supplies that are going to be required here um, we've got rib that is red that means shattered broken probably broken okay so we'll keep an eye on her and for now we will also set her for i uh, forgot about that yeah set her for chat and recruit now something we didn't get into with farmer you have a recruitment difficulty. It's a 49%. It's kind of like the wildness rating on an animal. It's very difficult to tame and train an animal this wild. Likewise, the uh, enemies that may come in from a tribe are so different from us that it'll be different it'll be difficult to tr to uh, recruit them whereas farmer was basically one of us she was on a spaceship and and came crashing down here so she is going to recruit actually quite easily Amelia is um, not native to the planet not of a tribe so is not as difficult though she's still different enough from us that she's not super interested but 64 is doable when you get into the 90s it can take you know five six seven episodes waiting and waiting and waiting for it to happen anyway um continue this shantigo is cooking a simple meal are we getting any simple meals in here we've got these 10 we got the three and this rabbit is eating one of our meals. Interesting. Who's down here? Actually, Shantigo, before you go any further, can you prioritize hauling all these simple meals and get them put away? Get them behind locked door. Yep, we lost a meal there. Okay. But eventually that'll all get sorted out. You are ready to harvest get you for another round of medicine and eventually when we do get some kind of a room set up that's that's designated as a hospital room then you guys are taking a lot of oh, the tree right there then uh we'll we'll park the medicine in there in a little storage spot like the kibble will be over here okay so rabbit is tending to 
farmer severe, severe illness to farmer and giving her a meal. And Tomislav is working with Amelia. Severe illness. Um, at risk of death because of severe illness, Amelia makes sure that they get the best medical possible. Yeah. So over here, she is now getting treated. Don't see infection here, so that hasn't set in yet. And we're getting 100%. Yeah, got good quality medicine here. So two of them popped in. Now that wasn't as good. It's a little bit, it's a browner tone rather than white. So 75% quality to the bandaging on that one. So we're getting basically two repairs per medical kit that he brought over. Going to give you a sense of, of that. So how much medicine do we actually have left? 42. They've used eight so far on the two times that it's been used. All right, so Tomislav is grabbing a meal, but there's still no completed uh, table and chairs over here. And we are time to go to bed. So these guys are resting, and hopefully tomorrow... Ham, did you get healed? You did not. Uh, Tomislav, can you take care of Ham first, though, before you do that? And Ham could be uh, herbal medicine. Right. So he'll grab this one right here and treat him. Auto-save there. No immediate danger, 24% bleed rate, and he has now been healed. Okay, so he'll... We've got a countdown, 24 to 30, so he'll he'll heal actually pretty quick. All right, so there's that. Um, Klaus, where are you after you got your sleep schedule all messed up? You're back on track, okay. All right, so a little hunting to do. There's a steam geyser there. We'll use that... I wonder if it shows up before you do the research. Power does not. There'll be a, um, uh, a steam power plant generator. I forget what. Geothermal that will sit on top of that eventually. And uh, generate power for us. Looking at these squirrels and rats and rabbits. That's one way to train people up to get better with their weapons is to have them go hunting all the little rodents around. That will uh, give them lots of target practice. Turtles are the best because it takes a lot of shots to take down a turtle. I want to take down the animals that are out in here, but I want to do that only with somebody who's skilled enough to do it, not shoot us while we're doing our work. So I will need to babysit that when that happens. Otherwise, um, these guys are on uh, power. Yeah, we're powered all the way to there. Both of these are running. Let's take this guy and reconnect them to right there. This guy is right there. Uh, the other power sources are this guy over here. We're still waiting. Okay, so we can click on this and set the temperature we want to, We want it to be set at. And we are currently at 70 degrees. So we're not going to get too hot. We haven't gotten uh, warm enough though. So we will want to put a heater in here as well and set that to turn on uh, when it's colder than 70 degrees. So we can maintain 70 in here. Or at least 60. But where is that? Temperature. Heater. Yep, let's put that in there. So he will. they're only going to run when they're needed. Well, I'll take that back. You can disable them so that they're not using power. In fact, we can go ahead and do that right now. Well, it's not that critical, though. We're never going to... We've got a lot of... We've got far more power here than we're going to be using for quite some time so when they are not being used they're just drawing 20 watts kind of uh, uh, just standby mode Klaus is done early you are feeding simple meal to Amelia because you're the warden okay Amelia is needing needing some food and we still have not got the beds moved over here so they didn't get a whole lot done today during that raid ham is fully healed great and I did release you guys from the the uh, restriction zone there. Okay. Now I could set up an area of just, you know, maybe from here to here, and restrict the dogs to just that. And I probably will at some point. So it doesn't have to be, you know, in an emergency situation. You can just make that happen for all day long. Waiting for someone to go hunting. You're relaxing socially again. 
So you never... Actually, you're fine. Why are you relaxing socially? Why are you not getting the, the command to hunt? So let's figure that out. Your hunt's a two. Okay, once, you're, once cooking is done and there's nothing to, uh, to butcher right now, then you should have dropped into hunting. And you do have a weapon. And there is prey out here that's marked. Right there. And your joy is not down. Uh, Klaus, joy is right there. Don't quite get that. So, don't know what caused that. But let's just send you out here and let's get something done. Because I need to turn this episode off. Let's go after... Actually, there's nobody down here right now to accidentally shoot. You hunt. Let's take out a turkey. Klaus, hunt this guy. Now, unfortunately... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> what did I do? Hunt is chosen. Klaus. Hunt. Did I click on that one? I must have. He's now hunting turkey. So, it would be much easier to walk up here, get next to it, and just shoot it. But they always seem to want to give them a fair chance by going to the about as far away as they possibly can to shoot from. Kind of frustrating. Especially when there's all kinds of people standing in between. So Klaus, let's draft you, take you to here. Did that not work? Klaus, draft, go here. Oh, you were on your cooldown period after you made that last shot. Okay. At this point, if I release you, will you automatically go to hunting? You will. Good. So maybe there's a distance thing. Don't know what caused him not to automatically go to hunting last time. Now, the sniper is not the best rifle to be using at close range. But it's powerful enough if you can make contact with it. It should do the job in one hit. Ham, what you doing? You're always wanting to get in there and see what's going on. Oh, you're going inside. Good job. Turkey woke up. He's going... What you doing? Alright, we're going to speed this up a little bit. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. I had all these high hopes in Klaus. Yeah. That's not working too well. And we are pretty much out of... Now, what are you doing? You are attempting to recruit farmer. Okay. So... Yeah, well, I guess we're going to go hunting next time. I do need to turn this off. So, that's where we are. We've got to talk to these two. We've got to see, first of all, how are we doing? Let me check this out real quick. Don't get any hint of infection. We would have a warning over here, I believe, if we did. Um, over here, some of the damage has already been healed, and it's, it's uh, not on the chart anymore. And, let's see, social also comes into play here. So social for farmer, still nothing. I guess we haven't had a, a, a nice friendly chat yet for either one of them. Okay, so that will have to be next time as well as getting our refrigeration up and running and, and kind of fine-tuning all this and getting some clothing set aside for both of them. Actually, we need to get a couple shirts and a couple pair of pants up and going. So with that, let's call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.